everyone. I'm Sergio Allegre, member of uh, Fundación Nos Horizons. I'm here with uh, Ana Cornudella. She is the project assistant of Especuladores, an NGO uh, created in 2014, a place in El Prat de Llobregat at the heart of the metropolitan area and at the heart of the park, the agri agriculture park of the Baix Llobregat, uh, the area where uh, a lot of people from Barcelona can see agriculture, intensive agriculture, and now in danger uh, by the airport expansion project of uh, the state of, of Spain. Uh, hello, uh, Anna. Hello, Sergi. Thank Hi. you for having us. How are you? Fine, and you? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So we are going to have a, a short conversation with Anna, focusing three questions. And uh, if you if you are ready, we can go on. Yeah, sure. Okay. But for the, our public, uh, what are the goals of Espigulados and what are the activities you develop? Uh, well, uh, as you said, Espigulados is an NGO that was created in 2014, and it acts upon three uh, social and environmental needs. So uh, our first uh, goal is to fight against food loss and food waste, which is one of the main um, problems of the, of the actual food system. Then our second goal is to guarantee the right to a healthy and sustainable diet um, to everyone, but especially to, to, vul to vulnerable people. And then our, our third goal is uh, to create a job insertion positions in in a little central kitchen uh, we have in, in El Prat de Llobregat, which transforms uh, what we call ugly uh, food and, and vegetables. So that is a uh, misshapen fruit and vegetables. And what we do to achieve these goals is, uh, well, and no, so uh, Aspigolados is the Catalan word for gleaning. So what we do is we have recovered uh, this gleaning activity and we go to, the, um, to some farmers' fields um, and we harvest uh, or we glean actually um, all the food they have left um, in the fields after the main harvest. Um, due to, uh, to some different reasons, but that would be overproduction or that would be a uh, some price policies that sometimes prices no go low and then they uh, they cannot sell uh, the products they have in the in the fields. Also, these um, misshapen well, some misshapen fruits and vegetables, um, etc. So we we glean this fruit uh, with groups of volunteers, and what we do with uh, this food is uh, we we give it to some social entities that work in the city of Barcelona, but also um, in all the, the towns in, in the, well, in the metropolitan um, area uh, to actually no, guarantee this, this right to healthy and, and, sustainable, and sustainable diets that of course no, have to have some, some fresh food, uh, food as fruits and, and veggies. And well, as I said, uh, we also have this little central kitchen which is actually like a workshop where we transform some um, some misshapen uh, food um, into vegetable uh, preserves. Okay, thank you. And from your point of view of an NGO already involved in the food system, how do you see the future of the food system of uh, the metropolitan area of Barcelona, let's say? Uh, well, uh, we want to stay positive. So let's say that we believe that nowadays uh, a lot of people is aware that the globalized and industrialized food system makes no good either to the environment or to people. Um, no, we believe that the high impacts that, that the actual food system has on soils, on biodiversity, on water quality, etc., are well known. Uh, and we would say the same no? uh, happens with, with the social impacts that the actual food system has. Um, we can all see that at this time, uh, there are some social movements, some social organizations, and even some administrations that have put the spotlight on these factors and are now developing some action plans to, well, to have some impacts on, on, this, on these fields to try to promote changes 
both no, of conscious and also of, of behavior. Um, so we would say that a first step at least has been done um, by putting this problematic on, on the spotlight. So for that, no, we are, let's say, happy. Um, but that said, uh, we also believe that some of the actions that are now being developed don't actually um, tackle the root of the problem, no, of the of the food of the food system problem. So, what we believe is that we should change the whole construction of of the of the food system, and that has to do with uh, some concepts as food sovereignty, um, agroecology, um, dignity, equality, no, etc. Um, which aren't really being um, implemented. In, uh, thank you, Anna. In this, uh, you mentioned that there has to be a transformation of the system. In this transformation of the system, what role, what policies, what programs do you think, uh, Spicola, those think that they should be developed by the public administration? What, as NGO, you ask the public administration in the metropolitan area, and let's say Catalonia and Spain and Europe, for sure? Mm -hmm. um, well, we think that uh, from the administration field, we have um, a great framework, which is the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact. And what we'd say to the administrations is um, just like take a read of the pack and try to implement the measures it has, because we really believe that they do tackle uh, this uh, root of, of the food system uh, problem. Uh, and what we really like about about this uh, this agreement is that it has a cross well it is a cross um, cross cutting strategy no so it takes into account different problematics that food system has uh, nowadays one of them of, of course and it is our our main field so it's food food loss and food waste but there are also some some other things that that they tackle down and yeah we we just we would say just like try to, to implement the actions that this agreement uh, has. Uh, and of course, no, uh, try to promote local and seasonal food, try to valorize no, the, the small, small farmers, small producers, uh, try to promote a short, a short circuit no, for selling this, uh, this, local, this local food, etc. And um, there are some town halls that have um, already created their own food strategy. You know, after doing a little study of what they have in, in their area, they you know, they see like, okay, so how are we, how can we implement what the Milan um, Park says you know, in, our, in our own town? So we would like all the town halls um, around um, the, well, around Barcelona's area to, to try to develop these, uh, these strategies. Because this way, no, it's like um, we all start thinking about what food system we want and what food system um, we can uh, try to implement, at least from the administration. Okay, Anna, thank you. Thank you very much for your kind uh, answers. And uh, well, uh, from No Solutions and from Jeff, uh, Jeff just uh, good luck, good work, and uh, please keep working on this uh, for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sergi. <laughs>